Oh, flashbang's gone in, and Masuta is blind. Zywu and Apex, no, they're not, and Zywu is already styling. This better not just feel like some some puggy scrim to Zywu. Exactly I'm, I'm worried what. that that's what this is going to happen. Uh, this bomb is dropped out in the open. There's 10 seconds. And this is over. Yeah, man, they've got to go. Just pack it up. Uh, and if they don't go now, they just don't go at all. Uh, yeah, Holly just runs to his death. Now that is what I'm talking about. It's a weird like, one, It's man. like, what else can he do, you know? Just a grenade. Hang on. He's going to CT, and there's three players up in Palace, so maybe we summon him now. Zywu, Zywu, Zywu. Let's go, baby. First man down. He's in for another. Masut is here to help him out, and that bomb is already dropped up towards the apartments. Oh, boy. He's parked on a double yellow, Harry. He is. He Give is. Him a and he said he's only nipped in for a moment, but we don't believe him. Ooh. He's been here all week long and Zywu's in with another. Alu, last man standing up in Palace, but no surprises. Mid, like, I, even though it fell out of popularity a hell of a lot with CT sides when it came to kind of contesting, they've actually forced some of these bodies away from the A-bomb site. Oh, but right there, that damn. Molotov is fantastic to force a player out into the open. Ooh. Alu gets revenge. Minutes. Let's yeah. Hear, let's hear that and, and he's coming. Yeah, I tried to work it out in, like, minutes and <laughs> days doing the conversion, but that's just not happening, no is it? Is covering look, this man, bomb. He's coming on this flank. You you can't do this to him already. Come on, man. You can't. He's in the back line. Okay, X7 gets revenge. Thank goodness. Looking for a little Ooh. bit more. And now down to the 1v1. X7's got to try and save the day. Ooh, Apex is out from CT, though. Just a little bit ahead of time. And he never gets seen. Yeah. Harry, what medication do Ents need to take to get oh. out of this run? Uh, at this point, I would say any sort of painkiller because they've got a, a real pounding going on. Uh, and, uh, is that yeah. what you take? Well, <laughs> X7's going to be holding short. He's been really the man that we've been kind of looking to to create space for this team. Hello. This oh time God. he gets deleted. Ariel's got no space over a bench. Dear God, someone help me. Yeah, Sergey's gonna get out Ooh. in front of the fight here. Sunny's gonna follow it up. Real chance for Ints in this round. Five okay. v three, Harry. Yeah, that, this is. Oh, Masuta! I like the confidence there. Just barrels into middle, set up by RPK's flashbang, gets himself on. Vitalik shouldn't win this round, right? Um, and so this should be a round Ooh. that Ints punish them for that in. And so if Shox is somehow able to turn this around, then that's that's insane. But this shouldn't happen. You know, there's never a world where you get given those two kills early on. The, the enemy team should rise back up. Now, let's roll it back, Shoxy. What year are you going to show us right here? This is what I'm going to be looking at. He's got this AWP on the retake. He's going to try to get in real quick and quiet, like real silent snake status as he works his way into the site. He's just holding Whoa. on. He goes to check jail. Hasn't They've looked up him. towards apartments yet. Of course, they're on to him. It's going to be X7 that gives that first round to Ants. They do it with three alive. The Finns having to having to answer back in a very big way. And I think it was just Vitality seeing what they can get away with. Now, they shouldn't let this spiral out of control because this is where things can get deadly. This is how you can get in your own head. And if Ents have been able to find their footing on the back of it, I don't know, Stella, but this bomb is a long way away. Shox has got himself one kill over here towards Catwalk. He hears a player rotating in through the apartments. Is he going to know that there's still players inside of the site, though? Because he hears the bomb, but yeah, X7 wins the fight anyway. And then they're going to get two rounds at the very end. Covered in hand sanitizer. But here's the flash into the apartments Ooh. and aerial. It's a nice flash from X7. That's one that you can uh, throw for your teammates at home. Now the push coming in to the B-bomb site and they get out through the window. They climb on in. The home invaders, the R team vitality. And they have invaded the home of Ends in a very, very big way. Yep. They actually, uh, they just own the B-bomb site, mate. They own it straight up. You know, they don't even have the deeds on the end side anymore. They're gone. They were lost in the move. Well, Sergei Deagle is going to best Masuta there in the head-to-head. -head. Speaking of which, Sunny taking down Zaiwu should help things just a little bit. They are up in a numbers advantage here, at least the inside is. Yeah, but still three rifles for Vitality. Although Sergei's got himself a gun, that's certainly helpful. Let's see if one of these B-splits that Ents, you know, fail to do uh, many times can come through. Actually, it's not going to be the case. They'll go back towards Connector. They have this Lurk of Apex that is now becoming the uh, Reckoning Force as they try and push in through the jungle. Got to take over the A site. Sergei is pushed in on the ramp, and if it's an open plant, he should be able to seal this round shut. 20 seconds, they've got to do it sooner rather than later. Alu is waiting in the spawn. He's dropped the bomb as well. That might just be the round in and of itself. Sergei peering out from the ramp and just Apex. He may as well try and just get some frags, but Frank is in and Ents have taken a third round on this CT side.
First time in ever, we've got two players on the B site to hold their own, and boy, have they got to do that. Yes, they certainly do. They're going to come out at a furious pace here on this oh, B site. No. Shocks just driving by with the MAC-10. Eventually, that does catch up with him. Ali's going to be there with AWP to answer it. The bomb being planted, though, does put the ball completely into Vitality's court at this point. 4v3 retake, Harry. Yeah, and Sai Wu's actually throwing a gun over to Ooh. RPK, trying to help him out, but all that's done is line them both up for Sergey. And so now this man advantage lies with the Finns, Apex, and Masuta. It's the 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 makeshift IGL and his new man falling under the wing to try and see this through. Masuta Ooh. and Apex, they've got it down to uh -oh. now a 1v1, and it's Sunny on the other side. Apex swings out with the Deagle and ya. gives him one in the dome. Team Vitality, 15 rounds. Yeah, just all bad timing. Two players pushing into the palace as one leaves. Sergey is playing it on a timing though. He's gonna go back and they're not ready for the repeat. Trade is there though, but that's information for Sergey. The bomb has been spotted and Sunny is in the perfect position to shut this round down. Two kills, bomb flying off of the balcony. The orc can't save the day, but it can come in late for a trade. Is that enough though? Zai Wu and Apex in a two on three. Okay, we've got to say his name three times to deliver something big. Zaiwu, Zaiwu, Zaiwu. But no, instead I've got him killed. It's the death note. I've said his name wow. and he's gone. But maybe it's Apex who I should have been singing praises of all along because he's going to take the victory for Team Vitality 16 to 10 as yes. Apex and Zaiwu make it so. Ents are going to be the one to bring aggression and it might go punish. Mizuta waits around the corner and he spams. He sprays, he prays and he gets two. No reason to go towards the B site now if your Vitality just double down again. Yeah, we do see our observer there. A little bit of a struggle on his end, but nonetheless, we do see this one going the full distance, and it's going to be Vitality having all the answers. Look Ooh. at that. X7, though, says, you know what? I want to play too, guys. Two quick kills in succession. Oh. Masuda's going to be there to go ahead and mop that one up. Before it got too out of control, what can oh. Sunny do? Oof. Gets caught by the P250 of Apex. So there you have it. Think at yeah, the same time. Yeah, it Both happened. Market, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, remember the date. Which is 18th of March, 2020. Uh, I'm putting it all on green, boys. Wish well, me luck. There's always that one guy. Anyway, Ariel posted up in the pit, and it's going to be the site of A that it looks like Vitality want to go ahead and try to get into. Can't seem to get their foot in the door just yet. They're just getting caught all out of position there. Yeah, I feel like this one is in the bag, you know? There's no way Shock's going to pull this one out of nowhere, and Ali will keep it flawless for Ed's five alive. Big nades coming through, though. Here comes the B hit. They're going to walk as far as they can. They're going to make a contact play out of this. 20 seconds left on the clock. They do make oh. that contact. Alu is the only one hitting it, though. It drops to 14 seconds. They need this bomb down, and the only thing down is all these Vitality players getting dropped in the entrance to Banana. Uh -oh. And uh, unfortunately for them, Alu just slaughters with the M4. I'm loving the amount of Molotovs that are getting thrown in down here, you know, both from top mid and top banana. If you look at this mini map and even seeing on X7's perspective, there is fire everywhere. We'll hold that thought because Shox has been able to work his way into a very nice little position here over towards the short side. He's already passed the man down in pit. Ariel is holding for it. There's plenty of bodies here on the end side, but Shox will blindside the first man, Sergey. Now all this pressure is on his shoulders and it's a little too much pressure to bear, Ooh. shocks an RPK. Oh, oh. Two versus two. They have a kit. Are they even going for this? He's cleared apps. He's now going back towards short. He's going to have to move soon, though. That bomb is half ticked by now. Molly won't do a damn thing. Only clears the position here for Ents as they try and find their first kill. But the crossfire is there, and Vitality hold their own. You've got oh, that to no. look at. Uh -oh. Ooh, nades wow. do damage. Push about to come through on the back of this, and Sunny stands tall inside of the bomb site. Nades removed. Another man. And for Team Vitality, three players left standing. They want to get into V, but this site might be closed. Sunny still Ooh. holding down the line. It's finally dealt with. But Apex is on one point of health, and he is in a one versus three. That nade, even if it tickles what? him. Oh my god. Okay. How's he done this? This is new system implemented. Half points of health <laughs> taken. The more you know. Speaking of which, Apex had no idea Ariel's pushed all the way up in apartments, and that's going to prove to be disastrous. Well, we speak about the changes to the default, right, and how they wait and how they, they poise that for these buy rounds. Zywu throwing up in this boost. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Let's see if he can get something, though. It's going to be on Ents that has to sort of gift it to him at this point. They're set up pretty well. 
from what would be a crossfire. So they're going to go ahead and counter smoke now that that smoke is starting to fade. It'll give them a little bit of an opportunity to head into this B site. Sunny playing first orange. He's going to get spotted out by RPK. RPK goes on the aggression. He almost. Unless somehow, some way. Oh, yeah, you missed those first duel. No apartments presence here from either side. And Alu, he's going to have to hold the line with the orb, but the flash is good, and he hangs around for too long. That's going to give a chance here for Vitality, and they're just going to double down, hit this B site with a furious pace. Yeah, this time Sunny's only good for one. The flash is in for X7, and he falls immediately. Now, Ents have done a lot of damage here to Team Vitality, but they've only got two players left standing on the other side of things. The AWP feels a little bit overkill here. Smoke down for CT, and Ariel is trapped on the other side of it. This time has already ticked too low. Ents are just going for the economic damage. They're trying to keep these players inside of the bomb site. And as we can hear, the footsteps running away. Vitality are not staying in the bomb site. They'll just about get out of the round, but with only one player surviving. We've got this again, a double or triple apartment setup here for Ents. And Vitality, every time they've gone here, they've been reamed out. I hope that's not the case as well. Sergei's pushing with the orb. They're holding, they're waiting, and Ariel's dropped one that draws their attention away. Sergei getting a kill and a tag onto Zaiwu. He will trade that kill back, dropping the bomb in apartments, but it's a three on three. It's not the end of the world for Vitality. It's also not what they hoped for, but hey, you got to get done with what you got. And... Ariel, he's going to have to hold the A site alone. Ooh, site smoke as well. That's going to cut off a player watching short side. That means he can get really, really close and even go through the smoke as well. It's forced a position change from RPK, who is exposed to long, and he gets away with a kill, but his teammate dead in the meantime. Sunny running out of options, running out of the clock, and he needs to get the kill now. RPK is just tucking in the corner. There's no opportunity. There's no time, and Sunny's going to shoot him down. He does. I don't know if there's time for this defuse. No I think way. it's a fifth round for Vitality. Yeah, there's no way that defeat is going to be. Vitality, you do put a fifth on the board. Team Vitality, they are a long way away from picking up this second map and this series, and they know it. It's got to start fast, and a great place for it all to begin would be this pistol round here at Banana. Ooh, Zai Wu's hidden, flash back in, but this time, Ents, they'll hide in their little hidey holes, backing away. Grenades into the CT spawn, but unfortunately for him, it was a wrap around back to the ruins. Shox is on the coffins, and he's looking to pack up some bodies into boxes himself. Zai Wu getting the first as they enter into the B site. He's done a lot of damage. Shox is just buying time for those rotates, and boy, are they coming. Two men in the CT spawn uh, looking to commit. One of them isn't so convinced. Apex taking his sweet time, but it might not matter because Ariel is pinned in at the back of the site. He gets one, oh, oh. doubles it, but surely not around here for Ents. Vitality start things off on the right foot. T Tours. Ooh, Tia uh, fights up middle. It's messy. And to get the better of it, though, and now with only one man inside of the A site, he has got to do it all. A man used to doing it all, though. Zai Wu, they're spamming him. They're ready for it. And Ariel's just going to take him down. Apex doubles with the MP9. But is it enough for Mizuta, new boy on the block, to show his value in the one on two? Does have a Molotov, does have a smoke, does not have a kit. Well, this bomb's gonna be getting plenty. He's gonna hear it too. He's gonna go through the <gasps> oh, smoke. No. Big plays around here, really oh. gunning for it. Triple poor setup. Boy, oh boy, are oh, Ents in for a world of hurt if they try and get out through middle. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. I would love to see how this plays out. They're gonna give it to him too. They're gonna try to feed right into this funnel. It's gonna prove to be very fatal. RPK there with his FAMAS is gonna do just enough to leave only Alu standing at the end of the round. 3v1. Oh, he does deal with Zaiwu down in pit, though. He's got it into this 1v2. Apex is going to go through that smoke. Oh. oh, tries to get off of the bomb, but oh, he's got away again. And now there's Apex to get that one. An eighth round for Team Vitality. Now this is a change of pace, though. Yeah, we saw this coming out of Int's last half. We're going to see it, it looks Ooh. like Vitality do the same thing quite Let's see if they can replicate that triple A setup despite the disadvantages. Ents are going to run the gauntlet up towards a bit of team damage. Luckily, Misuta saves Zaiwu's life. That's actually Apex getting the kill, rather. RPK. Oh, he just played them in the smoke, walking through it. They traded, though. Oh, wow. The bomb has been dropped temporarily. Apex holding on to the A site with his life. The only man here and the one who has to stand tall as Ents try and trade their way to oh. a plant. They won't even need to trade. It's a two-on-one again. We've been here before. Will the result be better this time? 
Yeah, it's Masuda once more in the hot seat now, wrapping around through short, and Alu was the man who had his number last time. He is here down in the pit again. Masuda, this is almost the exact same round, but this time he's coming at it from a different approach. Smokes down, and Alu is on the line once again, has his number. I, I imagine with three players here, they were going to look to get Zaiwu set up. He runs towards backside, throws in like a, a bit of utility, and then he Ooh. runs away. And uh, <laughs> this, this, it looked like a change decision. Vitality, they make the decision to save. And uh, well, now with that kill, honestly, there's only two players inside of the site, but there's no way they could know that. X7, if he captures these Ooh. saving players, that would be huge. Wow. But thankfully, he has fluffed it a bit. Do or die, friends. I mean, for Vitality, rather. And it's probably just do, uh, as they set up towards a one man in the banana again. Sergey being painstakingly slow, waiting for these aggressive rotations. There will be none. He will join his team setting up towards A. We've got this deep long smoke as well. Apex has had to give them the room as he sets up towards CT. Choosing to let them cross, but what oh is that? He pulls goodness. out his knife. Misread from Apex. He's going to fall apart. That was his eighth, uh, sorry, eight. One, he's one and eight now in opening jewels. That is what I meant to say. And boy, you can tell because Ents are running wild over this round. It seems like we're going to dust two. Yeah, it really does. Zaiwu and Misuta coming on in. These two getting left together an awful lot as they try now to close out this two on five. Aren't they going to assemble some sort of brotherhood friendship? No, it doesn't look like it. Zaiwu is the last man standing and uh, not for much longer. Ents are going to take this second map 16 to 8. Also, I was jumping around. I just realized I'm wearing a headset. So that's probably not a great yeah, not, idea. Not like your best idea. But, you know, we'll see how that one goes in the morning. Uh, Alu going to open this round up. He goes with Apex and, ooh, double from Alu. They keep trying to pressure him and, ooh, he tucks himself away. Ariel flashed in, chasing them down. And now Alu still oh. tapping down more. Four kills for him. And hence, get that pistol round locked on in. You no, know, Deagles are good for sure, but. I like the early rifles on Dust 2T side, mm. and there's a great example of why the SMG just shreds Mistura, uh, Misuta and Zaiwu. Mr. Mazuda. It does have a ring to it. Wow, not just rings, but knocks as well. Vitality are on the door of this A site, and Ents, they've got to put up a bit of a barrage. They've got to quarantine, lock themselves down. They don't want these men entering their private domain, but Apex gets a kill. X7 trading out, trying to stop this bomb part. Double peek from the CT side, and our PKs just won the round. Forget everything I said. Four kills from the tank, and he's going to do it with the Deegs. And, uh, I mean, we've got Alu and RPK both delivering some great performances yeah. early on, man. This is uh, this is setting us up for a nice map. Now, the Force Fire is back in from Ents. You can see Ariel is over here at long, testing the waters. He spotted at least two players here. This boost up on Catwalk and a net -a kill for Ents. The Scout gets rid of Apex. Man advantage taken in a very big way. Team Vitality down to just three players remaining in a matter Ooh. of seconds. That kill from Zaiwu is going to help out massively, though. It allows these two players for Vitality to sneak up close. Get right Wait. here. The flash has gone in, though. And that was actually the bomb that was what? dropped. Damage done onto Masuta. He actually gets one as he volleys through the smoke a couple of shots. This is messy. This is confusing. It's only Zaiwu left, though. And Sunny's wrapped long. I don't think Zaiwu has any idea. Turning his attention back to ramp Deeg down. Ents are going to steal a round away. Whereas Vitality have played this map twice in the last three months, trading against Na'Vi both times. 1-1. One, one. Good kill from Zaiwu. That's Alu dead early. The man, the myth, the legend, the one who's been making it happen on this CT side. And he's gone before the round even starts. And it's going to continue. The pain train there delivered by Alex. And you can see Apex wants to do exactly that. Uh, oh, nice cheats, bug. Uh, oh. Oh, flashes everywhere over at long. They're going to set up outside of wow. B. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's what I was thinking too. Okay. Flash is going in and Sergey Zorp. Well, that is uh, immediately removed. Oh, and another. And here's Sunny hidden away. Vitality just get lit up as they go into the B bomb site. Yeah, they are watching this catwalk. 
But maybe they should have let sleeping dogs lie over towards this A bomb site. <laughs> Ahalu. <laughs> I just I have to come up with something. I'd already reset oh, I guess, it. Man. Ahalu on the ramp. Here he is. Let's focus on the here and now. Here's the orb. First man down, but Zaiwu's in with the return. There's seven seconds left, by the way. This is chaos. That bomb's going to go down. And oh, there's just enough time. Zaiwu, fast fingers on the keyboard. Now, a little wiggle. Flash has gone over. Oh. And oh. Second no. time's the charm for Zaiwu. Come on. And now Sergey alone. It's not happening for him. He's hiding in CT. He's conceded this. And oh, ah. they come a knocking. Zaiwu's going to rotate back towards B with that bomb as well. So we could see a mid to B split in this round here from Vitality. It'd be the perfect time to do it. One man on that site right now. The only issue is crossing into the AWP. Luckily, Mizuta gets a second chance at life, but only three HP. Shock's going through the doors. Here's those grenades being pulled, and he knows he can take advantage. Alu dead in the water. He certainly is that. Vitality stacked over here towards the B side of the map. They're going to run into X7 on the other side of that smoke. A little bit of a boost here in spawn. But that main and only B defender is going to fall on X7 towards B. So this should be a plant. Everything should go according to plan here. And at least over towards Catwalk, Apex just hanging out, trying to get a rotation. And he's going to be given one here. Maybe. Oof. That could have turned around real quick. Yeah, this the uh, the kind of fate of this whole round there was hinging on uh, on Apex somewhat as that bomb was looking to go down, and it was all based on you know how successful this flank is. If he dies straight away, it's a three on three, and then maybe ends go for that. But uh, he's got two, so obviously I don't need to tell you what happens now. They even have a bit of a mid push as well. As X7 is close, and if he here's a timing, here's here's a scope or a flash pop. He knows he can get aggressive and force a gunfight. Talking of which, Alu balls to the wall, so close he's going to take the fight. And and he gets away with it as well. No armor, no worry. Two frags from the AWP and the Finnish sniper reigns supreme here on long. Middle push from X7 traded after one and it's looking like a good round for ends. Yeah, that one really did fall apart for Vitality. Leave just Zaiwu and RPK. And a battle of the smokes here on Catwalk. It's going to be RPK on the other side. Ariel might just have the angle, might just have a drop. He's got to stop moving. Oh. And that is just not how it all played out. RBK does find the frag, ultimately giving us a 2v3 with plenty of time left on the clock here. Vitality could recenter. Oh, no. But why do that when you have Zaiwu running around with AWP? Oh, Sonny, he was getting burned. He ran through the Molotov, and Zaiwu just takes him out as he appears. Nice wall bang. RBK hit, and he will fire right back. They, well, yeah, I mean, they, they were here. Now they're not, I guess. They've disappeared. They're going to start to try and secure B. Now, are they ready for this oh, double no. crossfire? X7's going to bait them in. Sergey, ooh, gets on down. Hit him in the corner, but removed by Masuta. Three versus three. That B bomb site now belongs to Vitality, and Shox has emerged on his wraparound in through mid, doubling up. Oh, nice. Not content with two, looking for number three. Alu up on catwalk, ooh. will deny it. Eagle and a dream, a 1v2 required. Double Molotov here for Team Vitality. They can use all this utility to slow Alu down and really make him work for this clutch. Got a flashbang and a kit. Half the time ticked off that bomb. Alu knows he's got to go fast. He does, it's do or die oh. time. Last round, that Molotov is just going to straight light him up. Look at this long ago, it's an RPK. Sneaking up, sneaking in. Let's see how they deal with X7. This has been telegraphed and communicated to the rest of Ents, who now try to get into B. And they get to the site. Do they get any further? The kills come in, and they will be able to get this bomb planted. Sergey's already over in the tunnels, and it's Shoxi alone. One versus two. While he does have the kit, that's all he has to work with here. No teammates, no armor, no utility. He's got to do this one the old-fashioned way. And, uh, yeah. Maybe this, not. Yeah, not happening. He's done. He gets dinged on down. Ents are going to secure the eighth round. They get themselves the pistol here to kickstart this second half, and they're going to tie it up eight to eight. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. We didn't really see the traditional you know, AWP over on Oof. B on uh, on that map because yeah, the utility was just so sick from Ents. They didn't need an AWP on that B site. They were just getting kills off of HE grenades and Molotovs all the time. So, yeah, it's always nice when you've got that in your back pocket. But no ops just yet, too early into the half. But Vitality somehow have made this force by look so good for them. Apex slaughtering Sunny down middle. These scouts have taken a couple of kills so far and even more damage to boot. Sergey put to 31. Yeah, let's see if that kit finally has its chance to shine. 
Sergei's waited patiently, but this has allowed RPK to get by. Maybe a little too patient. Oh, he gets shut down. It's more like outpatient as Zai Wu there oh, no. delivers over. death. They didn't get the kit. no time. That kit was on RPK. It was dropped it was to the back, back of the, the tunnels. tunnels. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's devastating. What, five flashbangs and a nade to work in, isn't it? Yeah. That's $3,000, by the way. Yeah. Oh, well. You know who does? X7, and I can't say I blame him. He's gonna use that all day long. Zaiwu, I was gonna say, he's ready for Ariel to be there for some reason. Yeah, $3,000, I knew I was ready. I don't know why I got it in my head that it would be any more. Should be more. Yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe my maybe my opinion's blurred into reality, but maybe there's a bit more <laughs> of that in this round here and now, because the reality is, is the Ents have got this A bomb site and Sergey's walking in with the bomb on his back. Shox is down in CT spawn. But Alu sniffs him out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gotta like, be careful doing that these day and age. You, you know, sniffle here, sniffle there. Cough here. Cough there. And more importantly, it's gonna be Apex taking the duel on long. Alu does falter. Now Apex and Shox against Sergey. Just about half health. He's holding on to this planet bomb within the A site. Ooh. Goes for the frag and it's Apex to clean the roundup. He's just he's just left stranded. And uh, luckily enough, Masuta is able to get that round back under control. Shoxy here shuts down two in the bottom of mid, tapping onto Ariel. What? Not quite the kill though. But uh, yeah, I guess they'll figure that one out the hard way. Bunch of bullets Damn. in their face. Sai Wu gets a taste of the action. Ariel sends him packing. Another CT smoke going in correctly this time. And a flank is in from Long that opens up a huge opportunity. The A site is where this will end up here for Ents. They once again go up catwalk. RPK, can he do what Apex could? And that Molotov makes him, he has to decide. Board or back, can't just stand still. <laughs> and he's so white, he didn't even know he was burning. X7 kills him, down to three. Mizuta, do it again, back to back. Another clutch potential. The bomb's been dropped and he's on for another one. That he has to set up for him quite well, and he does it. He capitalizes, shuts down Sergey. But at least we're seeing that clutch potential come out here. Obviously, you know, being a B rotate on Inferno and, uh, and having to go into one on twos on A is never fun. Uh, very hard retakes. But uh, Mizuta doing the damage here oh in my. this map, and so is Alu running right down long. He's got a gun for all his efforts as well. So I will flash, and he's going to get a shot off in time, but only one, and ends up overwhelming the site. They, they bypass Catwalk in its entirety. They try and go towards Long. They think it might be safe, but that's where Alu lies. He's good for one before Masuta gets the trade. We are asking this young man to clutch for the third round in a row. And this mm. time it's a little too much to ask. Ents, they finally do it. Ah. Good thigh guy. I, I mean, I'm more of a wing guy, to be honest. Here we are, pivotal round right here. Round 26, 13 to 12 with Ents up. There's the AWP training itself just outside of middle. Looking for someone to peek the window, perhaps, and maybe give them a foothold towards the B site. There it is, finally. It's Mizuta. That falls. And Shock's doing the oh best that he God. can. Apex is there to make sure that this one goes the Vitality way. Alu's going to be in the upper tunnels, and over there towards A is going to be Sergey. He's going to back off, though. This oh, is uh, this is an attempt at a mid to be crunch from the end side, but in response, Vitality, they've made this forethought decision to flash into the top tunnels. Masuta deals with Alu, and that there is one of these prongs from this split removed. Masuta's dodging bullets, still alive, still trying Ooh. to hold this B bomb site, and he's not missing. Sergei gets deleted is. as well, and Team Vitality are 14. 14-13. Luigi <laughs> board, I'm so... It's, yeah. All right, so we'll get away from that. Try to spare you some of the humility, nonetheless. A little bit of a catwalk hit here from the side of Ants to sack four deep. Air's going to get out in front of a big grenade from Zaiwu. Followed up with the op shot, <laughs> and my goodness, he has let it rain Woo! on him. Another one up for the ace. This could be such a fast ace. Okay, it's kind of slowed down a bit now, but come on, Zaiwu. Give us all five. Don't give us four. Then it's not impressive. Get it like this. Woo! Oh! Nearly, but not quite. X7 not ready to give all five the way of Zywu. Instead, it's Apex to get it. Map and series point now for Vitality. Here you have it. The last round of regulation. Round number 30.
an unreal position for Vitality to find themselves in. You know, you've taken down the heavy hitter of this end squad. And there's a gap in that smoke. Oh. Zywoo's trying to exploit it, but he's missed two opportunities. Now they re-smoke it. They realize X7, the other man who was nearing 30 Ooh. kills, he's trying to save the day. Now that bomb, oh, they're so lucky. That was on the edge. That is yeah. balancing there on the side, but it's still in the bomb site. Shoxi is an unknown factor. He is nothing more than a question mark here as he starts to emerge. They don't know, oh. but Ariel seemingly one step ahead. Three on three, overtime on the cards. Vitality, they need to retake this bomb site if they want to end this series here and now. Sunny's going to reposition over onto the back of Goose. Ariel still hidden. Sergey at long, but he's only armed with a Deeg, so this cannot come down to him. Surely Ariel's gone. And now the Deeg of Sergey's got to do Woo! it, but Zaiwu gets him. And Team Vitality, they'll take it. 16 14. We go the distance in map number three, but it's the Frenchies to pick up the W.